are going to set up this solar charge controller it's affordable that's for sure and you do have different kinds in this charge controller i do have this one as well this one says it's a mppt solar charge controller it may not be the genuine mptt solar charge controller but it works it works so guys i'm going to show you how to set this up so we have the positive and negative from the panel then we have the positive and the negative to the battery and we also have an output here uh, the power that is on this terminal here it is very limited right so what we normally do we normally use an inverter on the battery so guys this is an inverter that i normally use right so with that being said i'm going to show you how we're going to set this up also if you're going to be using multiple panels and stuff like that and depending on the size of the inverter that you will be using i am suggesting that you get one of these this is actually a fuse holder and this one is an inline fuse holder so what you want to do when you are doing this so when you have your cable you will cut the cable so you you will cut the cable in line and we do have the screws you can see the screws here you want to insert the cable on both sides but what we will be doing is that we will be putting the fuse inside so that's how you can have a protected system this is a bigger fuse holder but you can definitely do it you can definitely do it i do have some fuse here as well and these ones i have out of 40 amps fuse right so depending on the system that you're building depending on how long you're seeking to use that system for i'm suggesting that you put an inline fuse on the positive line coming from your panel and also from the positive line from your inverter i suggest that you put a fuse into your positive line coming from the panel if it's one panel or multiple panels you can do this and also you want to put another fuse in the line for your inverter so this is your inverter here and you will cut the wire you will connect the wire to this side and then you'll cut this part and you'll connect this side here we do have the screw input on the inside to bolt the wire down you put the fuse in the middle right that's how you can have a fully protective solar system setup a small fully protective solar system setup also for your application you will need to check to know what type of fuse you required if you want to put a 20 amps if you want to put a 10 if you want to put 40 you will need to know your application so guys i'm going to show you how to set this up and also we are going to put the panel we are going to set up the panel outside as well so that's what i'm going to be doing now okay guys so there is a sequence when you want to connect your solar charge controller and the sequence is you have to connect the positive force So for the battery, you need to connect the battery first, but first you want to connect 
the positive wire first then you want to connect the negative wire and the solar charge controller here so that's connected this type of controller only works with gel and AGM type battery so it will not work with lithium iron so guys I'm just going to connect this to my battery now and so guys I'm going to connect the charge controller so the first clamp is a positive and the next one is the negative so you can see that the solar charge controller lights up then we need to connect our solar panel so guys I have two panels here and I have already linked them together using the connector the Y connectors so guys if we put the panel on the outside with before connecting them or covering them up that can damage the panel as well so you need to be mindful of that so guys at the back of the panel there will be a mark with the negative and the positive so on this one we can see the plus it's kind of hard to see but you do get the picture also this one is the negative connector and this one is the positive so what we're going to be doing we are going to connect the positive so this line is a positive actually for this tutorial I am going to use black cables and this one is this one is a negative right but what I actually did to differentiate the, the, the cables I put a tape on the positive line so I will know this one is a positive so guys this is very important to do especially if you know you're not you will not be using red and black I suggest that you try and get red and black wires for your panel right uh, in this tutorial the reason why I'm not using these cables is because I have these for some other connections and if you notice I already have the connectors on the end of the cable so to avoid cutting these off that's why I'm using these two wires just for this tutorial so guys the sequence is the same we are going with the positive first then we bolt this down and then we go in with the negative and when we bolt this down you should see that the panel is showing Up. you will see that the panel is showing up so we have the negative and the positive in place right guys so I am going to take the panels outside and then you will start seeing that the float there you go you can see that the panel signal short there right so this voltage that you're looking at here is not what is in the battery but this is just the float that is coming from the panel so this is our maximum voltage that the solar charge controller will allow this is our disconnect reconnect so if the voltage drop below 12.5 whatever devices you are charging with or using it will just disconnect from charging from the load 
and that's just to protect our battery all those informations are in the manual as well so guys the panel is there on the outside and as I state it's not a sunny day it's, not, it's just partly cloudy so guys this is just a easy simple setup just to generate some electricity yeah don't worry about that spark yeah don't worry about that spark okay I need to do this with my two hands also when the system is in place you don't want to disconnect anything so I'm going to connect this by not disconnect completely disconnecting this our system is now hooked up we are generating electricity here now so you can see the voltage on you can see the voltage on the inverter is 12.8 So guys, I just run the full power on the grinder. I was able to use this system to do a lot of things basically. I was able to charge my laptop. I was able to run bulbs. I was able to run my television, which is about the 32 screen inch. I was able to do a handful of stuff with this. And this battery is a hundred this battery is a 100 AH battery. I do have two of these so with this small system so I was definitely able to do a lot with this system speaking so for anyone who just want to do a little setup that can be very convenient for you it's quite ideal so I hope that this video was helpful in you setting up your solar panel and your solar charge controller also you can there are different type of inverters you can use as well so guys i hope that this video was helpful if you have any vital information to add you can do so in the comment section below if there's something that i could have included in the video you can also add that in the comments as well guys my name is lens and i do hope that this was helpful for those of you who have any questions you can let me know in the comment section yeah, so I'm out.